What's up guys, I'm CJR and I'm joined by... Game Rally. Today's video is brought to you by Skip the Dishes and Xbox Canada who are running a giveaway right now for one of 2,000 four-week passes to the Xbox Games Pass as well as your chance to win one of 10 Xbox consoles. You'll find a link for both contests in the description below, as well as a link to Skip the Dishes. Now, Skip the Dishes is a food delivery service. Basically, you can order any type of food that you want and have it delivered to your door, which is fantastic for this time of year because it's freezing cold here in Canada. And the last thing I want to do is leave to pick up food. It kind of works really well with the whole gaming aspect. It kind of goes hand in hand. So what we're going to do today is Matt and I are going to decide on which type of food we want to order and where we want to order it from. We're going to order ourselves a small feast uh, with the help of Skip the Dishes and then we're going to sit down and play through some of the games that are available right now on the Xbox Games Pass as well as answer some of your questions that you've submitted to us through my Instagram. So anyways Matt let's sit down and figure out what food we're going to order. Yep. Let's do this! All right, so we've got Skip the Dishes pulled up on my TV here. Now, Matt, we can order anything from Chinese, Italian, pizza, subs, burgers. What do you want to order? Burgers. You want a burger? Yeah, okay. Burger. I know a perfect spot. Uh, it's called The Works. They've got all kinds of crazy burgers that are amazing with all kinds of like crazy toppings and stuff. So, okay, we're going to put in our order. And then while we wait for the order, we'll play through some of the games on the Xbox Games Pass. Should we yeah. high five again? Yeah. Okay, this is going to get old quick. <laughs> okay, so we're all set up here. Before Matt and I get into actually playing a game, I thought we would start off with uh, one or two questions that you guys submitted. Um, the first question here is from the Realist MG. What game do you own that's worth the most money? Now I always look at Matt because Matt kind of knows, I think sometimes more than I do, which games I have that are worth money. Uh, mainly because he's very good. He's got a good mind for like remembering those sorts of things. <laughs> And uh, knowing he he might know his values a little bit more than me too right now. I, th I think I think you know what yours is. What? I think it's Snow Snow, Snow Brothers? Brothers. Yeah, Snow Brothers for Nintendo. Yeah, I think on, so on too. My number. How much no. does that go for now? I, I don't. I Snow thought Snow Brothers like three or four hundred. They like three or four hundred. Okay, so I think it's I think it's, I think it's Snow so. Brothers. Um, basically, I picked up Snow Brothers on an online lot uh, where it was just a lady selling a bunch of games, and I don't even think Snow Brothers was listed in the picture. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, on to the next question here. So Snow Brothers would probably be my best uh, and most expensive game. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, Calvin McDonald asks, Matt, what are some things that CJR does that annoys you? Oh, when, when, like when when we I when we call when I call him, he doesn't listen to me. Okay, uh, that's fair. <laughs> okay, so let me let me preface this by saying that Matt and I are like two teenage girls and. <laughs> So I'll be sitting down here playing a game and I'll have Matt on the phone on the speaker. So I think I honestly, on average, probably talk to Matt at least an hour, to an hour a day. Yeah, probably. So Matt, Matt calls me and Matt has called me every day, um, what, five to ten times a day, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just so used to I talking. I'm so used to talking to him when on I the phone. I don't call him, he wonders what's wrong with me. And a lot of times I do tune him out, but that's uh, mainly because he'll go into stuff that he's buying. <laughs> and I've learned to just stop even caring about what he's buying these days, just because, as we all know, and I'm sure some of your questions will be covering, um, whatever Matt buys is gone two days later. So, All right, Matt, let's take a look at the yeah. Games Fast games yeah. we have here. Um, fantastic lineup right now on um, Xbox Game, game Pass. And uh, now they just announced the other day that a bunch more great games, both of the yeah. Ori games are coming. Yeah. Uh, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. This is like, I looked like I saw this one like, we, like shopping, weird, weird shopping panic or something. I want to see what it's called. Oh, I don't shop know what that is, but what, yeah. what other big games are coming? Uh, I, th I think, what is it? Crackdown 3. Uh, yeah, that, Crackdown that's February 3. February 15th, I think. Yeah, February 15th, Crackdown 3. Mm -hmm. So all first party Microsoft games it, are on here day one. As well as Ready play, Player Known Battlegrounds. Yeah, PUBG. That, PUBG is going to be yeah, free on November Xbox 12. Games Pass now, which is great for mm -hmm. them to kind of mm -hmm. compete with uh, Black Ops. So uh, in terms of games here, let's go. There's a game that I want to play, one of my favorites here. Uh, we're going to start off with a little bit of Hydro Thunder Hurricane. Yeah, I've been I, playing this a lot over the last couple days with the boys. I played that on the Dreamcast. The original one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And uh, I think it was in the arcade. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It had like a fan blowing. So it's like... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Teddy actually played that this summer, oh, cool. uh, Hydro Thunder. So, you know what? Maybe I'll let you play yeah. a game. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, you can just yeah. play the first round. Maybe okay. just do a race. Yeah. And uh, I'll go through some more questions That'd here. Cool. Okay, what's the next question? Wow, there's a lot I of think questions Chris here. Send a message, Chris Charles. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get to all these. Yeah. Here's a good one. Gamerman 93. Will Gamer Alley trade his Pez collection? In for his new Switch. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get a new Switch. I don't he know. He would. If, I'm gonna... I said this. He, he was bragging the other day. Just go ahead and start the game. Okay. Uh, he was bragging the other day how he still has his pen, Pez collection. And I was like, well, if Pez was in demand, those would have been gone long ago. The fact is just that nobody really wants it. So if you just go to go to race and just do a single race. We'll just play this uh, while I get through some questions okay. here. So the answer is, if he could, he would. But uh, I don't think anybody really wants his Pez yeah. collection. Um, okay, King Willard, goals for your collection in the next five years. Uh, I'll answer this first. Um, goals for me in the next five years, I'd like to complete the N64 collection. I will still be working on the NES collection. I don't know if I would have that done in uh, in five years. You missed the... Uh, oh, crap! The I missed it! It's going to oh. take a second to get used to the controls. Doesn't it look great, though? Yeah. It looks really good on the... Makes you want to get an Xbox One. Yeah, Hydro Thunder... Hurricane looks fantastic on the uh, Xbox One. Yeah, we need to pick okay. up a power so yeah, my collecting goals for the next five years would be to keep chipping away at NES. Um, N64 I would like to have completed. And I really want to start picking up rare and uncommon uh, and good uh, Sega CD and Saturn games. Oh, there anything else? Oh, the Game Boy Collection, of course. Yeah. I Still can chipping away at that. Too. I can see some of that, uh, that question too. Yeah. I, I want to... I just got None a of it's gonna matter GameCube. because you're gonna get rid of it all. I just but. got a GameCube on one for my friends, and I I would like to collect some games I want to play on there. Are you going for a complete GameCube? <laughs> no, no, not a complete GameCube set. Just the ones I want to play. Okay, uh, here's a tough question for me that I'm gonna attempt to answer. Top five hip hop albums of all time. Um. Okay, so Enter the 36 Chambers by the Wu-Tang Clan, which just celebrated its 25-year anniversary. I would think I would probably rate that number one. Uh, I'm going to draw a blank here. Uh, Mob Deep, Hell on Earth, definitely my top five. Uh, the, the Fugees, the score, I, I love that album. Two Live Crew. Two Live Crew would make my top five. Uh, I'm trying to pick which Tribe album would be in there. Definitely, maybe even Beats, Rhymes, and Life might be the, not the one for me, just because it kind of hit at a time when... I was like just so into uh, hip hop. I, you know, I've always been into hip hop, but some of them were a little bit earlier, like early '90s, where I probably got into hip hop. Actually, you know what? I got into hip hop way before that. I don't think I was aware of Tribe until like '92, '93. I was listening to uh, Maestro Fresh West when I, I must have been eight or nine years old. Uh, Maestro Fresh West is a Canadian rapper. For those in the states who might not know who that is, but uh, top five. I don't even know if I got there. Um, what else? Uh, oh, Cardinal Fischel. Is he? Cardinal Fischel, no. No, he's definitely not. Oh, oh, he's true. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I hit five. I'm drawing a blank. I, I knew I wouldn't be able to do this on the spot. I don't uh, I don't really know him. Uh, I'm missing, like, something. You guys are yelling at me in the comments right now. What about this one? <laughs> okay, favorite childhood-related gaming gifts. Do you want to hit that first, Matt? Yeah, my, mine was the first system I ever got was the, the NES. My, me and my sister got the, the eight. You got seven like plays? Yeah, I'm not good. Okay, let me try one race here. And if you could read them, I'm reading them from the bottom going up. The bottom going up? Yeah, so the next one is here. Oh. Okay, so uh, favorite Christmas. What's the what's the question? Favorite Christmas. Oh, oh where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah, favorite childhood gaming related Christmas games. So now this is a weird thing for me. I, I wish I was more like BitHead1000 and could remember like everything ever. But the only thing I really remember getting on Christmas was the Sega CD. And I remember us spending an entire afternoon trying to hook that thing up. I wish I could go back and figure out why we couldn't figure it out. Maybe it was because I think you had to have two power bricks hooked up and maybe we didn't know that. My dad was a pretty technically savvy guy at the time. So I remember getting it and not being able to actually play it. I think until like the next day, which was infuriating just because we had some issue with some part, I can't remember what it was, but it was a totally our error. So I'll blame that one on my dad. Here's a good one here, the Matt Jacobs, how did you meet? 
Oh yeah, that's a question we get all the time. We should have covered that first. Uh, so Matt and I, oh, you tell it. Yeah, we, You're good we, at we were, we, we were actually, Charlie's two years older than me, but we, we were in the same gym class. So I'll, I'll explain why. Um, I did like a victory lap, a second year of grade 12 to, to play sports and party and, and pick up girls. <laughs> Uh, so I had every gym credit, uh, I had taken a fitness gym one year, so I took a grade 11 gym, which ironically was the gym class where I met my wife, uh, in that class that Matt was in. Yeah. So we were all in that class, so. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't, I knew you before that, right? Yeah, I think Yeah, Matt used to hang out with us, yeah. like, uh, we would hang out in, like, the forum area, and yeah. Matt was just kind of always around, so. Yeah. Um, but we, we, you want to tell, you want to tell we, 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 we were, like, we were in the same class, and we, we were... They, they made us, like I had no partner for, we were having a badminton okay. tournament. So the badminton, yeah. our gym our yeah. gym teacher was my coach for the basketball yeah. team. And he paired up Matt and I for the badminton tournament. <laughs> and, we, um, yeah. and we, we I, actually won. We won the tournament. And, what, and I was, okay, I was awesome at badminton because I have a freakishly long <laughs> wingspan. I could cover a lot of ground. Was, but was okay Matt was really good. Like, it wasn't all me at all. Matt held his own, and he definitely contributed to the team, and we ended up winning the badminton tournament. And tell him what we did every time we oh, got a point. Oh, wait, 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 a point? We would ride around a rack and it's like horses. We'd ride our, yeah. <laughs> every point, yeah. We would just taunt like crazy. I think I remember playing it like a guitar the, a few times. Oh, I missed that. Oh, no, the, 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 he's just, he's just turned off. Yeah. Um, you for a living? Do I? You want to answer that first? Yeah, I'll answer that. I I actually work in Mc, I work at McDonald's. I I work part time. I work nine hours a week. I work Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, eleven to two p.m. So I I work part time, but I I've been there almost in April fifth. It'll be fourteen years I've been there. I just clean tables, take garbages out. I'm just like tidy up stuff. I'm like the lobby guy. Yeah, I've been there almost fourteen years. I like it there. It gives me money to buy games. All right, I'm gonna do one more race here, Matt. What's okay. the next question? Oh, uh, this this is one right here. Six, six. What Super Nintendo game was your best find in the wild, and what? Oh, I'll let you ask that. It's like a two-part question. Um, which Super Nintendo was my best find in the wild? Yeah, Super Nintendo game was your best. Definitely find in the wild. this year when we found Chrono Trigger. Yeah, box. When we found two Chrono Triggers. Yeah, yeah box Chrono Trigger. And then it says what? And the second part is what? Super Nintendo game you want most? Are you reading out the person's name? Oh, sorry. Fickle, Fixel, Fixel, Fickle dot Pixel. Yeah, um, so yeah, Chrono Trigger in the box this summer. What else have I found at the? I found uh, Turtles in Time at a garage sale. I haven't found an Earthbound at a garage sale before. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, where I, am I going? I have one. There's another question here by Carson Van Ort. It says, how long have you been friends with Game Rally? And how many oh times God. did Game Rally buy a Switch? I bought a Switch four times. <laughs> it's the $1,500 <laughs> Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh, we've been friends, oh God, 20 years? More, I mean, I don't know. Like, so, I knew Matt in high school, and, and you know, I knew Matt pretty well, but we never hung out in high school. Yeah. Um, I, so how did we start actually, like, hanging out? It was probably 10 years ago? That we started like hanging oh, out. Oh yeah, I, I just like, when I, asked, I called, when I gave yeah. you my phone number. Oh, I lost his phone number. And I <laughs> it was all up. downhill from there. I I, lo I lost his phone number. You, you gave it to me. I lost it. Then I looked in the phone book. I think I saw you at Microplay. Oh, I, I looked at the phone book and called you. Matt, I think I saw you at Microplay though. Okay. When, I I gave, it, when I gave yeah. you my number, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I said something like, "Cause I think I, did I just get an arcade machine? I was like, yeah. oh, I just got an arcade machine. You should come What's over." Your parents, yeah. So yeah, Matt lives down the street from where I grew up. So. We've been, that's been, that was like, what, was that even 10 years ago that we've been, like, hanging out, I don't though? know, like, me, I think it was, like, can you remember when I first swapped was that one? I've known I, Matt for, like, 20 years. Yeah. We've only been hanging out, uh, for, yeah. I don't know, I think six before or seven. your boys were there. I think it was right close to you. Yeah, before. so maybe, maybe seven or eight years. Yeah. All right, what's next? Uh, let's, I'm just trying to think something. Oh, we all need to know overall does Matt actually like or dislike the switch? <laughs> and this is my Austin Carlson twelve. I I do like the switch, I just I just I'm bad with keeping stuff. Matt likes the switch, but he likes getting new things better or buying new things <laughs> yeah. better than he likes the switch. Yeah. Go 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 go. Oh squeezed in a fourth place right at the end.
So this is, do you think if Matt lost interest in video games to pursue Funko Pops, the microplay would close its doors? MRP Mac one. The microplay would close its doors. <laughs> if I if I pursued it pops instead of video games. Yeah, so do you want to tell them how much money you spent at Oh Microplay? yeah, yeah. I um since Microplay they've since the, they started on my account since the last it's I've since nineteen ninety nine I spent like I think like around forty five grand there. Forty five thousand dollars. Now I wanna say because sometimes you'll get a lot of people saying that Microplay is taking advantage yeah. of you. It's actually the opposite. The mm -hmm. owner at Microplay treats Matt very well. Bill treats Matt yeah. very well. He does not take advantage of him in no. any way. It's actually the other way around. Yeah. Um, Matt takes advantage of Bill, and yeah. Bill lets him do yeah. things that uh, you don't take he, that people that yeah. he doesn't let other people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times, I'm like, "Why would Bill let you do that?" <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Bill, they do not take advantage yeah, of Matt. Really in nice. fact, they they try and talk him yeah. out of as much as they can. Same with yeah. me. Like Matt, don't do this. You yeah. do not need this. Please don't sell it. But you can only yeah. you can only plead with them so much. I can't make him do it, and they can't. If he doesn't deal with them, he's yeah. gonna go to um, e Kijiji e or e whatever, and yeah. who knows who he's gonna be dealing with there. But, so but I probably am gonna get an Xbox One. Though. Yeah. So Matt. You know, there's no reason why he w there's no reason why you shouldn't. I'm like, yeah, yes, get yeah. an Xbox One, but you should already have yeah, it. I know, I know. We we went through this last we're time. Black Friday. Oh, we gotta play Friday the 13th. I forgot to play that. Yeah, I think that's on the Games Pass now. It is. I think, what? I think I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, Matt. So, what game do you want to play next here? Forza Horizon Four. You want to play Forza Horizon? Okay. Yeah. Uh, like just looking at some of the games on here, there's a ton of stuff. Some of stuff Gears I... of War 1, 2, 3, 4, Judgment. Oh, the Ultimate Edition of number 1's on here. What's Graveyard Keeper? That's that. All the Halo games oh, are on. Oh, this... play Grip. Grip, that game just came out. Oh, Hello Neighbor. Th that game just Something came too. out, That's Grip. Cool. There's only its games on here. That's crazy. Grip. Human Fall Flats. Oh, man, remember Hexic HD when the yeah. Xbox 360? <laughs> that was that, awesome. I think it came built in. Joe Danger's it? fun, too. Number two. Cameo. It's got a yeah. ton of stuff on here. So okay. much good stuff. So where's... Playgrounds. There'll be Playgrounds on there. Playgrounds so one. Where's uh? Oh, yeah, let's right. find Forza Horizon four. Yeah. You went up. Did you see it? You went too far. I, I think you saw it there. Put it there. F. Oh man, we gotta play some Fusion Frenzy after this. Oh yeah, I got it. All right, I'm just gonna go. I have it downloaded, so okay. I'll go out. Yeah. Yeah, Crackdown three is coming. Oh, campaign. It's pretty awesome. Like yeah. to get you get those games. I can't believe that. Day one. That's where the Xbox could place like, should be. Forza Horizon 4, the, the full game is just there. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I heard the Cuphead was... People say Cuphead should... I'm sure Cuphead will be yeah. coming. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Do you... Here, here it is. Okay. Yeah, you haven't played Forza Horizon 4 yet, No, no. That's why, that's why I want to get an Xbox. We're, uh, we're getting a racing wheel. So it'll be interesting. I want to teach Teddy how to drive using uh, Forza Horizon. I, I kind of want to learn how to drive stick uh, using well, a, a video game. That'd be kind of cool. It's going to be hard. Okay, so getting back to the questions here. What earliest memories of game... What? Okay, uh, Big Al 14582. What earliest memories of games you first... What are your earliest memories of games you first played together? Do you remember? I don't, I don't really remember. I don't even replay. Like, what's played? the first game that we played together? Oh, I know. Was it NHL Hits? That was one yeah, of them. Yeah, you destroyed me. Didn't I beat... Was it... Did I hit 20 on you? I, I, think, I think the first time we played on Xbox, and your modern one. That and Strikers. Well, well sorry. That's we, some of the first games that yeah, we played. Yeah, we, we played it on... I think NHL Hits Pro. And NHL I Hits lost, Pro. like, 20 to 2. Yeah, I was, I'm very good at NHL Hits <laughs> Pro. And then we played on GameCube, and then I lost, like, oh, four, 14. Like, 2 or something. I don't know. I can't remember should we put a pillow under the back of your feet? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Every second you're kicking the couch. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I should mention that we're actually streaming this uh, gameplay content at uh, 1080p. Um, just because that's what my capture card runs at. But I've been playing Forza Horizon in 4K. And it's gorgeous. Am I supposed to... I, I think I'm continuing. What was your first garage sale find? I, I, I do think, not remember. I think I... I remember the, it was on... It was the first... It was three years ago when we went Victoria Day weekend in Canada. Yeah. It's like on the That's the first time you went garage yeah. selling together. But I my think, but my first garage sale find I, I, I must have it on video. I think I remember. 
We uh, one of the, I remember some of the stuff that day. But you know that I started before I started years before yeah. you started coming no, with me. Oh, so. I mean, I'm talking for my for my pickup together. Oh, I remember we got GameCube games. GameCube. We, we remember I was collecting GameCube. I said, "Let's we're not gonna find any GameCube games," and we did. We found like Mario. I think Mario Tennis, Mario Golf. I got a good memory. Okay, so you're at my. I forget. I own multiple homes now in Forza Horizon. Oh, the winter season started. I, I haven't even done this yet. Where I go? I don't... Um, so I would just back out of this, push B to back out. Okay. Um, mm. And then back out again, B again. So we're just... And then just drive away from the house. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime too. Okay, sun, my, this is my Sunflower Meadows home. I don't want to miss you. Um, just drive, man. Or, so let's go uh, push start. I still call it start. It'll bring up your map, click on A. A? Yep. From that. Okay. Um, and then you can pick pick one of those blue racing okay. events, or no, do a cross country event. They're awesome. You just drive oh, like yeah. right over everything. Yeah, go to that green one there. See the green one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cross country. So do, yeah, do that one. So That's okay. You just want to do a race, so it'll show you the direction to that event. Uh, back, back out. Push B. Push B in. again. Okay. And then turn yeah, you gotta turn around and just follow the GPS. To the event. And while Matt takes us on a little drive through the British countryside, I'll answer some more of your questions. Uh, Dion7. At what price could someone buy your entire game room? Great question. Uh, so now, I've mentioned so many times that everything in this game room at this point is completely free. So I don't attach a crazy monetary value to it. At the same time, that is the reason why I have no desire to sell it. Uh, I didn't put a bunch of money into this, so I, I don't feel like I need to get money back. I don't want to sell my, my collection. Um, I'd love to pass it down to my boys someday. I want to keep collecting. But what also excites me is the collecting and, and hunting aspect of, of, uh, of doing this. And uh, to be able to start over from scratch would be pretty fun to me to, me to go to garage sales and actually just keep everything that I need, uh, everything that I find, because I'll still need, I'll need it because I had just sold my collection basically. So the idea of restarting my collection kind of excites me. Um, the number itself, I have 5,000 games. I think if somebody offered me $100,000, that would probably be my number. I don't know if my collection is worth anything near that, but for a hundred grand, it would be pretty tough to turn down. Anything less than that, I just, I don't, like literally that would be my bot rock bottom. I don't think it's so much. If somebody offered me like 200 grand, I would pack it up, deliver it, um, I'd let them move in down here. The stuff, in, the stuff in my collection I just have, I still have my modded Game Boys. I won't sell those because they're, like, they're attachment to them. If somebody offered Matt a hundred bucks for everything he owns in his bedroom, sold. I would not! Including his bed. I would not! And his pet's collection. I'm not going to sell everything for a hundred dollars. Will you be uh, Nessosterone? Oh. Shout out to Nessosterone. Will you be collecting the entire library for the Nintendo Switch? Uh, yeah, eventually. Um, cool? The thing that kind of muddies that is the whole limited run stuff, right? Like, I, I have no desire to spend hundred dollars for some obscure indie game through limited runs. So. Super rare games too. Yeah, so that kind of changes things. But basically I'll keep every I'll keep every Switch game that I find at garage sales. Which is what I'm gonna start doing with Wii and Xbox 360 and Xbox. I've been doing it already with uh, original Yeah you said I should go, you said I should buy 360 games and original I said that to Matt. Matt said today I want to get an Xbox One again. I'm like, okay, well, get it. What I actually said is let's take permanent marker and write Matt Bomer's <laughs> no, Xbox One or I Game got, Rally so sometime. nobody will want to buy it. I got to sell sometime. Um, but then I brought up like, hey, Matt, we go to garage sales and, and we find oh. Xbox 360 and original Xbox games for nothing. You could build yourself up a fantastic collection of Xbox stuff. Where'd I go? Where'd I go here? I want to. I'm gonna go here. Here. What do I use? Okay, Ness Osterone also asks. This is weird, but I gotta know how tall, how tall you both are, because in the videos you dwarf him. So obviously he means like my outfit. 
<laughs> with jazz hands. Um, so I'm six foot four, and Matt is I'm, I'm, four eleven. No, I'm not four eleven. I'm fi I'm like five eight and three quarters, but I call myself five nine. Five eight and three quarters. I call myself five nine. I'm I'm pretty tall. <laughs> I'm five nine. What is your guilty pleasure game? Sean's F49. Oh. Wait, Sean SF49. San Francisco 49. Oh. Right, you're in this race, man. And you're racing in a Jeep Cherokee. That'll be fun. I don't know why I did that. Take what? your finger off the gas when it shows ah. the red. Yep, you're right. <laughs> yes, you're right. Ah. Are you sure you have your license? I don't have it. Oh, Look at it. Looks nice, eh? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, shit, I would Sorry to yeah, careful, please. Oh, sorry. Ah, where am I supposed to go? Where... What do you mean, where are you supposed to go? It's a blue I'm... line. Sorry. Follow I'm... the blue line. Uh, next question. Oh, I didn't say my guilty pleasure. This question no, is... No. Oh, sorry. I didn't say mine either. Guilty <laughs> pleasure. What's my guilty pleasure? Uh... Oh, college football's national championship on the Sega Genesis. Oh. Fantastic football game. I've played that almost as much as I played any, uh, NBA 2K1. Those two games are the games I've played NHL the most. hits. I played college football's national championship growing up with my neighbors constantly. Oh, NHL hits. NHL hits, but that's a good game. Guilty pleasure to me means like, uh, not a great game. What's... Nah, I don't know. College football's a great one, too. Yeah. I don't know. I can't really think of any bad games that I enjoy. I like Burnout not bad games. I like Burnout Crash. Kid Shock oh. 3, this question is for Matt. What's your favorite meal at McDonald's? Good question. Oh. I, I, my go-to, my go-to, my go-to meal, I get, so I get half off, so I get a double cheeseburger, mayo, ketchup, severed onion, now I start adding pickle to it. Severed onion? Mayo, ketchup, slivered onion. Slivered onion. <laughs> yeah, mayo, ketchup, slivered onion, Slivered as pickle. opposed to like the onion bits? Yeah. Okay. Mayo, ketchup, slivered onion, pickle. Well, that's what I got yesterday, and I also got get a medium fry. All right, so my go-to meal <laughs> is still a six-piece McNugget, and I like two double hamburgers, not double cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers gross me out, um, but yeah, that's my go-to. I'm watching. Look at my eyes. Spencer Harrington won. What is your favorite GameCube game? Uh, I like, I like Smash Bros. Smash Bros. mainly is like the everyone's fear, but I, my fear was probably gonna be Mario Superstar Baseball. I love it. I love it. My, my favorite game to play now is uh, Strikers. Yeah. I, like, I don't I, know if I think that's on like the best game yeah. on there, but I, like I love I love Strikers as well. I like to play Strikers. I like all the Mario sports games, like Mario Golf. Tulsa Tour is really fun. Yeah. I like, Mario that's Kart. my favorite Mario Golf. Yeah, Mario Kart Double Dash is good. It's just so many good games to games. Look at how good this looks. Yeah, good. Even in 1080p, it's beautiful. Good. I didn't do good though. Cause you I wiped last. out. Cause I wiped out. I I flipped my car. <laughs> I gotta try. I gotta try that. Let me know. You got credits. Huh? The, the, the chat. <laughs> Golden pants. <You> like that? <laughs> what are you wearing? Sweet that? outfit, right? What are you wearing that? <laughs> I'll drive you another one. That's right. Let me try. Oh, doorbell. Who's here? Oh, it's here. Food, 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 food. food I got food. the food, food. Let's food, eat, food. Matthew. Let's eat food, food. Okay, this one's mine. That must be your burger. And this is my craft dinner as my side. Craft dinner? And poutine for Matt. Woo! Like a true Canadian. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, we ordered the works. Uh, do you want to go ahead and open yours up? Like I ordered the crappy tire. That's what I usually get at the works. And it is a burger with uh, all beef patty. Pineapple, brie, and this like sweet barbecue sauce. It's usually fantastic. Oh, so I want to show this. My, no, mine no. is the some young guy. Some what? Some young guy. It's called. Some young guy. It's it's got. I think it's got cream cheese on it. I think it's got an egg. 
bacon, and caramelized mm. onions. Should I, should I try it? Go for it. Let me try it. I've never tried it before. I've never if I've ever ate at works before. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, so good. <clears throat> oh, yummy. So we're going to eat this food, and then we're going to get back to some more gaming and answer some more of your questions. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. All right, Matt. I undid my belt. I'm extremely full. It's hard to breathe right now. Oh, I ate too much food, too. That was really good, though. Yeah. But I am absolutely stuffed. So. Oh, we're gonna jump into some Fusion Frenzy, an original Xbox game that's available on the Xbox Game Pass right now. Kind of a, um, a party Mark, game. No, party game, yeah. Yeah. I remember playing this a lot when I was um, 2001, so it mm -hmm. looks like I was 20. Yeah. It came more like November 2001. Okay, so let's get to a couple questions here. Um, what was the first game you ever played? Will Foley asks. So for me, it was Mario Duck Hunt on the original NES. What about you? I think mine was my one next door neighbor friend, buddy had a Nintendo, and I think it played WrestleMania Challenge. I think was my first game probably. Or I got a Nintendo. Or I got an oh, sorry. WrestleMania Challenge? Yeah, or WrestleMania or WrestleMania Challenge yeah, on the Nintendo. Yeah. May, that might be my first one because I think it played. Uh, but I think the first one I owned was Mark. Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Okay. Dan Horgs asked, that's my buddy Dan Horgan. Shout out to Dan. Uh, used to have an Xbox 360. If I were to get a new system, which or which one should I get? Uh, get an Xbox One. You can still play all those awesome 360 games that you had. Uh, I, the Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles of all time. And uh, being able to play some of those awesome games and original Xbox games like this is awesome. So I would recommend the Xbox One. And there's several variations. You can go with the original, the One uh, S, which you can win in the contest below, or the X if you've got a 4K TV. A genie grants you one wish for any game you want. What game do you choose? Oh, that's good. For any game, I'm going with Snatcher on the Sega CD. That's a game that I really want for my collection. I don't know. Let me think one out. Okay, so. Uh, six games here. Um, it's gonna bring us through, so it quickly gives us. So there's gonna be six games, multi uh, mini games, yeah. competitive multiplayer. Every, yeah. every man for yeah. himself. Do, do I tell my favorite what game I pick? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I was just trying to think, explain. This. RC Pro Am Two on the Nintendo. RC Pro Am Two. That's your holy grail game. That if you had a genie, you would. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't think the other one. I said she'd be robo for GameCube. Okay. What is your favorite garage sale find ever? Uh, retro know. game or mixed or 88 ass that. What do we do? You throw the bombs at the other players. Uh, where'd you get the bombs? What bomb? color are you? I'm red. Thanks. <laughs> what do we do? You I don't want the controls. And you hold it. You should have been looking at the beginning, but I you decided to talk and give us your favorite thing. I was trying to set the game up first. I, was, I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this. I'm like throwing it and blowing myself up. You hold A to throw it further. Okay. He throws it. A throws it. I got threw. I threw my bomb down the. It's like Mario Party just for the mini game. Naomi sure cats in there. So my personal favorite garage sale find ever. Mm. That's tough. That mighty final fight was really cool. That we, that I found. That was a callback. 
Um, again, it's probably got to be the the Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Fox Chrono Trigger is hard to beat. Was Choosing mini game. What is the most fun system to collect? Original Game Boy. That's easy. Uh, you can still find original Game Boy games for pretty cheap. Plenty of hidden gems. Mine's either Game Boy. Mine's either Game Boy Advance or GameCube. The GameCube's like GameCube's got lots of fun. Uh, next question. Next question from Dougie Hits is uh oh, it's like uh it's almost like uh uh Tron. Oh, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> you have to surround the things to collect them. Surround other players to like destroy them. Just circle around the things to collect them. God, six points, but horrible. You gotta make the circle. <laughs> you have to figure this is tough. This is cool though. From a baby. Our last place. Uh, did I ask this one? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Street Fighter for me. I love Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat for me. Bobby, stay chilling. I'm from Arizona. When's a good time to visit Canada? Oh, that guy bought my shirt. Uh, anytime is a good time to visit Canada. If you're into or if you want to try skiing or snowboarding, come in the winter months. Fall is beautiful, but I would recommend summer. Spring. We actually have pretty hot summers here. Spring, yeah, it's all—it's a great time of year. Yeah. There's a lot of nature, lots to see in Canada. Right tree drops a bomb. Okay, move player, move bomb. Okay. What are we doing? I like to just figure it out. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. You're supposed to move the bomb with the right trigger. Right <laughs> trigger. Why well, you right trigger set? It said right trigger. Well, you can set the bomb to walk towards. Yeah, I'm just pushing A. Uh, I didn't, and the A wasn't even on the controls. It was you and me versus... <laughs> Let's read the description now, next time. I did. Oh, so there is team games. Yeah, there's games. Yeah, that's we lo why we I lost. lost one. Yeah. One to like 30 or something. One to 60 or something. You're kicking the couch again. Oh, crap. Every sorry. two I'm seconds. sorry. I don't want to do that. Sorry. Oh, crap. I want to get two. I can't even read these full questions. It won't let me go into them. Why? Go so some of them are a little long. Yeah. How old is Gamer Alley and how did you both meet? We already answered that. Maddie I'm, Star 26. I'm 35. <clears throat> Grab orbs of your color or white oh. orbs. Carry Attack and steal for points. Jump. It's time for fusion about orbs. frenzy. What am I doing? Oh wait, you can can you bet? Yeah. Look at how to do this. Oh. I'm going all in. I don't know anything. I have three orbs. I have three orbs! <laughs> okay, I totally forget what the instructions were. I thought it was A and B. But you're sealed. Okay, A's jump. So you gotta click. 
Hey, I got time with you! Oh, it was it actually good that one. I did it better than I usually do. Alright, Matt. I think it's time for us to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this video. Uh, mm -hmm. This kind of Q&A that was sponsored by Skip the Dishes. They provided the food and I provided the entertainment. So me. And so did Xbox, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, hopefully we answered, you know, a lot of your questions mm -hmm. that we had. Uh, and uh, thank you for your continued support. Like I said, check out the contest links in the description below and feel free to check out Skip the Dishes. A uh, great way to order any kind of food that you possibly feel like, especially in these winter months. Pretty nice to not have to leave the house. So thanks again, guys. And till the next episode. Are you going to say bye? Bye. <laughs>